This is like, I think the second or third time that I'm trying to film this video. Um, I just want to kind of have a conversation, kind of don't really even want to edit this video, one take kind of thing. Um, long story short, last time I made a video of my checkup, it was my one year checkup and uh, I was declared still in remission, but we had some blood work done and after I posted the video, it I found out that I actually have hypothyroidism, um, which is an extremely common side effect post chemo treatment and post cancer. So um, I wanted to share that with you and create a dialogue on my channel for other cancer patients uh, or anybody really that has hypothyroidism and so we can talk and I just I've decided to make this video today before I'm even seeing an endocrinologist who I'm seeing in March who will who I will figure out my medications um, for my low thyroid then I just uh, the side effects of having uh, low thyroid levels have been weighing on me heavily and I just wanted to talk about that um, I this came out so much more fluid in the last video I filmed, but it just wasn't working out. Um, I just want to talk about how, how it's been affecting me. Um, I'll jump into the, the side effects or symptoms of it really quickly. I am extremely fatigued to the point where I couldn't go tutor today and I just, I was too exhausted to really do anything. I couldn't make it to a rally that I really wanted to go to and if you know me and if you've you've seen how passionate i am about things on social media and things like that you know that that means something when i'm too exhausted to do anything and it's not this like fatigue where i could just sleep all day and it makes me think a lot about the fatigue that i experienced from chemo it's really debilitating and my mind is tired my my limbs are tired and that, that's how i feel like my eyes weigh really heavy i'm noticing a lot of mood swings I'm noticing uh, depression here and there, in and out. It's it's much harder for me to be the positive person that I really am. I do find myself leaving my core a little bit sometimes, but I do always find my way back, and that's thanks to the people that I surround myself with. That's thanks to oils. That's thanks to crystals. That's thanks to just uh, really practicing mindfulness, which I talk about a lot on this channel. Um, but it, it's still a little bit scary sometimes to see myself go down this like hole and it, it's not so easy to get out of. Uh, so those are two really big side effects that I'm experiencing and you know I, I've, I've been up very late some nights crying and, and kind of just journaling, gratitude journaling, journaling about what I'm feeling, what this means and all of that. So I just, I just wanted to be open and real with you and, and share that that's what's going on right now, especially just, just not knowing what, what this really means, what kind of medicine I'm going to have to go on. I know that uh, most supplements or the medication for uh, hypothyroidism is actually, has no side effects and I'm just very eager and excited to meet with the endocrinologist about it. In the meantime, I'm kind of just beginning the route of a holistic approach to kind of get my thyroid levels in balance, which if you're experiencing this and if you'd like tips on that, please let me know in the comments below and I can totally make a video on that as I do that. I have a month of that, so I'm very curious to see how that goes. I'm actually going grocery shopping tomorrow with a completely new like grocery list, which I'm super excited about. It's very fun. I love making grocery lists. Hit that like button if you like making grocery lists too. I want to, I've seen the magic of creating dialogue in the comment section below. A uh, really cool story happened this week where somebody commented on my video asking for advice and then a lady commented giving some advice back to the person and then the person commented back and they were like, hey, like, I think I met you at the Cancer Center in Ontario, which is in, in Canada. So like two people found each other on my channel, which is super cool. So I really encourage dialogue to connect with each other and me because not only am I doing this to help you, which is a really big part in why I'm sharing myself in such a raw form with you, but I it helps me immensely to, to get advice and to hear people talking and just to kind of share our experiences with each other because we're not in this alone. I know that a lot of us are experiencing this and 
the fatigue is, is really weighing on me heavily. It's, it's preventing me from working to my full capacity or enjoying life to the full capacity. When things weigh on me heavily, this outlet really helps me a lot. And just being able to connect with you watching helps me too. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. It was a rough day. Um, not emotionally. Emotionally, it was a pretty good day. But just uh, with my fatigue, I'm really noticing it more and more and more every day. I'm just really excited to meet with the endocrinologist because I know that attacking this and fixing it is going to obviously make me feel better. So it's going to be okay. And I just want to set this as a reminder that post chemo or even not having ever had an illness, you should always listen to your body, really get to know your body. Uh, I know when nothing's wrong, it's kind of like you take feeling good for granted, but try to remember and sulk in what it feels like to feel good so that when something is a little bit off, you can acknowledge it right away and tell your doctor, your primary care physician, your oncologist, whoever it is that you is your go-to. Make sure that you're telling them what you're feeling, like every little thing, and, and don't be embarrassed and don't be scared to tell your doctor that you don't think something is right. Don't fear that people will think you're a hypochondriac. Like I was told that I was a hypochondriac when I kept going to the doctor uh, right before my diagnosis, but like, I knew internally inside of my being that something was not right. I just, from day one, my biggest message, before I say everything is going to be okay, like I say know your body and listen to your body. Be super aware of what your body is trying to tell you. Know your body, listen, and in that case, <laughs> everything is going to be okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this is low energy, but this is what I'm feeling right now. and. 